welcome to this short tutorial where I'll be talking through cleaning up and basing these Ground Zero Games Japanese Powered Armour Infantry. These figures are 15mm scale and produced by Ground Zero Games in the UK. At 15mm you don't have to worry too much about tidying up every detail because these figures are so small uh, not everyone's going to see if there's a bit of flash or a, a mould line running down the side of the model. Following my obsessive instinct, I decide to tidy these up anyway to get little mould lines and a flash off them. And I'm using a nail file uh, available from all good handbags. Ground Zero Games models tend to be quite flash free anyway so it doesn't take long to clean them up. In fact, it takes about 10 minutes work to get the small group finished. I'm going to be mounting these little chaps in bases, so I want the uh, bottom of their existing base to be cleaned up nicely before it's ready to be glued in. Jab's got a little bit of flash between the missile pods, so I'm just going in and filing that down slightly. After this, I washed the figures in soapy water and dried them. This left them looking a lot more shiny and clean, ready to take a base coat of paint. These are the bases I'm going to use. They're from Old Crow Models. Uh, they're metal cast bases and they've got a small lip in them so they're perfect for the Ground Zero Games models or any 15mm models to be dropped into. The bases add extra weight to the model so it's good for preventing the tiny 15mm models from toppling over while you play with them. I just like the extra weight it adds to them and the nice rim to the base. I'm just splodging some glue onto the model before I slot it into the base which it fits into quite nicely. You might need to trim the sides of the uh, GZG base a bit to get it in, but normally they go straight into this old Crow Models base. Here they are just drying off now. I leave them for about 10 minutes to let the super glue set in there before I start on the base work. Here with my hand for a guide, you can see the size of these small 15 mil models. Rather than basing these models with PVA and sand, I'm going to use white pumice, which goes on like a gel and uh, does form a nice texture. It's not the most unpleasant smell, but uh, I wouldn't stick my nose in there. It does dry out really quickly, so you have to watch that uh, once you've taken a small amount out to do the basing, you quickly replace that plastic seal. What's tricky here is I'm filming this whilst trying to keep this small figure in focus. So I'm not the best here in terms of putting this on, but it seems to go on quite neatly. I'm really just trying to avoid there being any gaps around the bottom of the base. So I'm just putting it over those small corners that you can see where there's a hole between the base of the model and the actual base itself. Remember to keep a trusty supply of cocktail sticks for this kind of work. The pumice is actually really easy to rub off after it's dry. You can sort of scratch it off, but I tend to just rub bits off like that to stop them getting around the base. So once finished, that's what it looks like. Quite a nice texture. It's very fine because these models are very small. And here they are up against a 28mm model, so you can see the difference in scale. That's a model from Pulp City. 
part two of this video will be me painting these small 15mm scale models with a quick guide. So stay tuned and come back again soon.